I'm Dr. Jim Sylvia, Senior Medical Director for Provincial Seniors Health and Continuing Care with Alberta Health Services. Protecting our loved ones in licensed supportive living, long-term care and hospice settings has meant severe restrictions on visits. We know that's been difficult for residents and families alike. That's why, starting on July 23rd, Alberta is shifting from restricted access to what we're calling safe access. This will help people connect more while protecting those most at risk. What does safe access mean? It means recognizing that family care partners are essential to the mental and physical health of residents. It also means setting clear guidance for safe visiting. We are increasing the number of designated family or support persons to two. They can visit indoors and outdoors and need to coordinate but can have access to the resident for any reason. Up to four visitors can now visit with the resident outdoors, only if there's room, in designated spaces and without a designated family or support person present. In some circumstances, and when it is safe, these visitors may also visit indoors. A consistent visiting schedule will help operators and residents to plan. Indoor visits in designated spaces will depend on scheduling and on resident needs. With more visitors comes more responsibility to keep people safe. COVID-19 is still here and it is still a risk to our loved ones. Stay vigilant, act responsibly, and follow all public health guidance, site safety protocols, and steps to minimize risk both on site and off. Check out the safe visiting practices and any related site policies. Every site will have its own approach to ensure the health and safety of residents, staff, and other visiting persons. Safe practices include wearing a mask at all times indoors, unless it's a communication barrier. Wear a mask outdoors when you can't physically distance, and practice proper hand hygiene before, during, and after every visit. We know it's been difficult to avoid hugging and hand holding while visiting, so we've also developed guidance for doing so safely. Before you visit, use the assessment guidance in the order to assess your own unknown exposure risk. As always, practice good hygiene and stay home if you're sick. If you have symptoms or have recent known exposure to COVID-19, you are not allowed to visit. As the COVID-19 situation evolves, direction on visits will also be updated, so check back often. With COVID-19 still with us, we all must work together to protect our loved ones most at risk while we help them remain socially and emotionally connected. Please follow all safe practices, site-specific policies, and visit alberta.ca slash COVID-19 to learn more. Mm -hmm.